Hello, let's start the installation of a new add-on called Subtract Anything. Let's install it first. After installing it, you can enable. And here on the end panel, you can use the command set workspace to make it uh, on the way that it can really work for you because you need a sequence editor and an image editor to fully use it. On the image editor you can see the part that you need to install a virtual environment so select the place where you want to install I'm going to create one here Create VF. Oh, let me open the console and show it on the screen. It makes things easier. You can go to the window, toggle system console, and it will be here. Let's continue. You have to install PyTorch in case you don't have already a virtual environment. Call it Py39Torch112. You have to install PyTorch again. If you have already a place, it won't show this red error. It's not an error, it's an indication. For example, I will select another one that I already have that virtual environment and if I select that it won't give error here it won't show that it still needs to be installed so let me go back to the new place that I created I have to swap my torch let's do it it will pop up a new window and you just wait for it to install now that you have the PyTorch installed, you can close this window and go to the other requirement. Now it's also done here, you can close this window and let's import the checkpoint so you can start using the add-on. You just have to select the checkpoints.zip file that has about 2.5 gigabytes. After importing the checkpoint, we can start using the add-on. Let's increase this window a little bit and on the sequence editor, go to the SAB, load a video. For example, I'll get This video that I got from Pexel's site. You can see here the size of the video, and <clears throat> to work faster and not to have problems with the size of the GPU in case you have smaller ones, what I suggest I brought my monitor here to see the use of my system memory and all. Okay, what I suggest is to decrease to the part that you really only need to use. For example, I'm gonna remove the head of this person. So what I'll do, I will make it smaller so I can make it work better faster and won't have problems with my VRAM memory. That's fine for me here. After selecting this part I just gonna I don't want to use for all the animation. Let me make it smaller 
I can make it smaller, chosen right here. After selecting everything to make my video more optimized, I can click here and it will render and import here automatically. So you have the video with the image that you cropped and resize it to the way you want. And now we have everything set up. We can go to the select the part that we want to remove, for example, or to create a mask. And you can click on Get Image, Clear, and we select the head, and we can click on Add Mask. After a while, it will generate a mask that you can see if it's okay for you. If it's not, you can clear and get a new place. Or you can also add another places, for example, the lag. Let me add mask here too. And the, you now have two masks. If that's okay for you, you can now do the tracking. That's important. Even if you want to do the ink paint, you must do the track before. So let's do the track. Track's done. You can see the results on the sequence editor side. With the track, you will have this option to see the tracking, this mask over the image, and you can also see the mask. Let's see how the track is. And we can press play. And you can see that it got very well. If you want to see the mask, just click here on the mask and you see how it's behaving. I didn't test, but I think this can be used for compositing purpose. And now let's do the ink paint. One important thing, let me erase this. One important thing that <clears throat> when you are going to use the ink paint, it's important that you use on a place that moves or else it's not able to do the painting. Let's see how it goes here. And that's where it uses more of the VRAM memory. And if you have problems here, and you remove the reduced size and everything, and you also have problems with the memory, you can also decrease this image ratio. It only works for the ink paint you reduce it's going to use a smaller video, a smaller image to do the paint and maybe it will work on your GPU. The paint is done, now let's see clicking on the sequence editor side, in paint, and let's take a look. You can see how it goes on the head, it, it it's able to remove everything, probably because you have enough information that it can grab around the head to fulfill the place where the head is. While the lag, you see that it tries, but it doesn't go very well. But it tries its best, so take it in consideration when you are going to use in paint. If it, the object or something doesn't move much, the ink paint won't work. Well, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.